year, the first Sunday in December, is a festival celebrated at Holy Family Church, Chakara. We gather together for the feast mass and then meet in the evening to celebrate the Holy Family Fiesta, a fellowship of almost 2,000 parishioners. This year, due to the pandemic and restrictions on large gatherings, only the physical meeting is cancelled. The family day goes on. We like to do things differently and we hope you enjoy what the media team of Holy Family has put together. Let us start with a bang or with a few laughs as we present you a tongue-in-cheek look at how this idea was born. The year 2020 can be best described in the words of this great English writer from the 19th century. 
December 2019 certainly brought out the best in Holy Family. God's presence is felt not just within our church but all around the campus among his creation. So we celebrated the Eucharist out in the open, united with nature and marveling at the good deeds of the Lord. This land is mine, God gave this land to me, this brave and ancient land to me, and when the morning sun reveals her hills and plains, when I see a land where children can run free So take my hand and walk this land with me And walk this lovely land with me Though I am just a man When you are by my side With the hand of God I know I can be strong My hand and walk this land with me and walk this lovely land with me for I am just a man when you are by my side with the hand of God I know I can be strong to make this
this land our home. If I must fight, I'll fight to make this land our home. Until I die, this land is mine. Good evening folks and welcome to the Holy Family Fiesta 2020. I know you guys are used to me hosting our annual feast day. Let's do the second best thing we can do now that we cannot meet physically. Let's look back at last year's fiesta. Jab we met, jab we prayed, jab we marched, danced and had a great time making the best of the great music and fantastic food. The sky was lit with stars, both celestial and the ones crafted by our 16 SCCs. The community march was one long, happy, noisy procession filled with creativity and enthusiasm. The dancing was non-stop. Almost every family went home with at least one gift. It was truly a celebration of one big happy family. Happy Feast Day everybody, till we meet again. to be jolly and be sure were
stars in the bright sky Look down where he lay The little Lord Jesus Asleep on the children and youth after a year long formation finally received their first holy communion and the sacrament of confirmation
a nuptial themed eucharist complete with blessings of the rings and vows was followed up by a romantic evening under the stars as we celebrated the married couples in our parish sunday when blow honeymoon us at last alone feeling far above oh While I gave to you and you gave to me true love true love so on and on it will always be true love true love oh you God in angel on high with nothing to do but to give to you and to give to me love forever true Ecclesiastes tells us that there's a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing we were in the middle of lent when the pandemic hit us there was widespread uncertainty and fear every passing day seemed to bring on fresh challenges hope was wearing thin with the church locked up the faithful relied on live masses streamed at 7 a.m. in the morning and went to bed consoled with good night messages which gave hope for a better tomorrow each night Oh 
It was time to not cry out to God about how big the problem was but to let the problem know how big our God is. People donated generously and Holy Family has so far given out 8 rounds of aid, provisions and cash to the needy people of all faiths. Our parish Konkani group distributed patholios and won on August 15th. to the families who were grieving the loss of a loved one during this pandemic they also hosted the whole police team from MIDC police station 94 and all for a lunch and felicitation many other online activities such as sunday youth mass grandparents day celebration monty fest children's day kept the parish connected Baba, let us be a girl. 
Our parish undertakes a walking pilgrimage to the Irla Shrine every year on October 2nd. In view of the pandemic restrictions, this year we undertook an inward looking, reflecting walk through each of our 16 communities. praying the rosary to our mother and asking her intercession during these trying times when i find myself in times of trouble mother mary comes to me speaking words of wisdom let it be and then my heart of darkness she is standing right in front of me This year during Souls Day we remember our dear departed especially praying for those who passed on during the pandemic and their families the parish prayed as one the cemetery was lit up and kept open over the weekend with a priest on duty to bless the graves the parishioners staggered their visits to avoid overcrowding on Souls Day
till we meet again. By his counsel's guide uphold you. With his sheep securely hold you. God be with deeds not words holy family church celebrated world day of the poor on november 29th keeping all sops in mind about 550 poor people from the neighborhood were served a delicious packed lunch a sweet soft drinks and biscuits without the customary long processions from each community ending up at the church this year's eucharist had all the elements of a community mass Here's a fun fact. Did you know Holy Family Parish has not one but two anthems? 
our Sunday school is called the JFC, the Jesus Fan Club. They have their own anthem. We are more than a family that prays together. We are a family of families at Holy Family. Watch our parish choir presented to you. So we are back to where it all started, the parish feast, our family day. We miss physically turning out in full force and celebrating our togetherness. It may have been a year which was the best of times and the worst of times, but no one had to face it alone because the family that prays together stays together. Happy feast to everyone. May God bless us all. <laughs>